Despite its long and impressive history, most of China's ancient towns were destroyed by wars or unrestrained development. The ancient walled city of Pingyao is a lucky exception. Once known as Little Beijing, Pingyao is almost 3,000 years old. Its hundred streets and 4,000 ancient shops and residences feel like a window back in time. Even the local dogs bear a striking resemblance to Chinese imperial guardian lions. Inside Pingyao's 12-meter-high walls, you can get a glimpse of what life was like in Imperial China. It's Yanqi, as popular now as it was back then. Like chess, it's a battle between two armies. The goal? To capture the enemy's general. Pingyao is also known for its traditional medicine. Scraping starts out pleasantly enough, but quickly goes downhill. It's as painful as it looks. That's just the warm-up. This is a cupping session. A rubber pump creates a vacuum inside the glass. This brings fluids to the surface, principally blood. It's meant to cleanse the body of impurities and improve circulation. Some say it helps with arthritis, fertility, acne, allergies, varicose veins, and of course, the common cold. The Western doctors insist they're just self-inflicted bruises. The treatment probably originated in Egypt, just under 4,000 years ago. The marks last about 12 days. He tells me he feels better when it's over. Not all of Pingyao's traditions are quite so painful. They do their rounds on the hour. Pingyao is, after all, a fortress city. They're actually quite friendly, though they're not allowed to smile. If you're lucky enough to see these guys, drop everything and follow them. It means there's going to be a Chinese opera at Pingyao's public theater. complete with musicians playing ancient instruments. Mostly. Locals are especially fond of plays that recreate their city's ancient past. Tales of royalty, death, love, and betrayal. Imagine growing up on a living stage of your own history. But life inside an ancient walled city isn't all fun and games. Many of its 50,000 residents still cook and heat with chunks of coal. And those cramped, 300-year-old houses often have no sewage disposal. Private cars are not allowed, even if they could fit the narrow streets. And lately, Pingyao has been overrun by tourists. Over a million a year. They bring much-needed income, but locals are afraid they're turning Pingyao into a Disney version of itself. and that they'll be evicted to make room for high-end hotels. 
Outside the city walls, it's even harder to make ends meet. His name is Zhao. He can fix almost anything, from shoes to handbags. Though zippers are his bread and butter, apparently they're always the first to go. He has a daughter on the coast. She sends him money so he doesn't have to work. But when he sits at home, he's lonely and he doesn't know what to do with his hands. He has no idea how old his sewing machine is. He got it from his father when he passed away. <laughs> Zhao's popular because he charges very little. He says he feels sorry for his clients who can't afford new clothes. He makes sure everyone is satisfied, no matter how long it takes. Though his own clothes don't get nearly as much attention. He lost his wife five years ago. He gets here at 6 a.m. and it's usually dusk before he starts to pedal home. He saves every scrap and has relatively few expenses. The best of old China can't be found within its walls and towers, but in those people who pass its ancient values on.